What are we doing? Opening. Oh. Day hey, everybody. Four. Day five. So here we are again. Yeah, I so, just got out of the Heartland auction. My heart is pounding. <laughs> you I did got, it, though. I got, I got a couple of things. I wanted a couple of things for my office. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and they were cool things. I will give you that. Yeah, and they, um, you know, that show is kind of an important subset, sub little section of my it's life. It's a big part, know? yeah, yeah. So anyway, today's day five. Uh, as you can see uh, from yesterday's we're video, we made a lot on. of progress. Yep. Um, Kyle's cleaning up the cabinets, getting ready to install. So we're going to do cabinets, cut the Swiss tracks around it. Uh, so we have two sets of cabinets to do, mm -hmm. two uppers to do. We have the uh, the wash bay wash to bay, do. Yep. Mount the lifts, uh, and then That's we got to wait for some parts and pieces. Yeah, I think it'll be a good day. We'll get all the cabinets buttoned up. I think I get all the lifts bolted down. Um, I with did, Swiss um, tracks cut around. I did all the audio. Jeff helped me do all the audio stuff. He's a wizard. <laughs> that takes big stress off of me because he's a wizard with the darn uh, XLR stuff. Good. Each one of those would have taken me an hour. It would have been all crackly and messed up, so he, uh, he knocked those out super fast. So the audio's done. Yep. Once we get everything in, I'll do the final calibration, but I did a quick little calibration. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, good. Good. Can we, we, maybe we can listen to music in between. Uh, maybe, yeah. In a little bit. Hmm? Yeah. Listen to some. i some... close the doors. I didn't pack any sweatshirts. I'm freezing my nuts yeah, it's off It's pretty here. cold out. It's cold as yeah. crap. Yeah, it's too bad you didn't drink coffee. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Time to get ready to go. All right, let's get to work. We have an outlet here. I cut a wind, a little hole, roughly where the outlet was going. So now what I'll do is I'll mark on the outlet where this hole lines up, and then I can adjust my layout according to where the hole is. So I can pull it back out, and then you just pull, poke the wire through, and then put the receptacle we can in here. Finish the cabinets and get the receptacle later. Yep. Oh boy, what oh, you no. got there? What did he do? What did he just do? Oh shoot. Boxing out. I'm getting first dibs on this since I'm off the wagon. Yeah, I'm about to go hit it first before you jokers take it off. You think so? We were gonna go buy some at 2 p.m. I'm surprised you didn't, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't stop on the way back from home. I didn't do a Kyle and stop at Pismo and look at the flowers and such. <laughs> I didn't do that. I just went and went back. Oh, look at these wildflowers, these are cute. <laughs> look at this, look at the beach and the sand. It's so pretty. Not like cut big holes in your Brand new cabinets. cabinets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, this finish is really good. I mean, my white finish is nice, but this is, this is better. I mean, there's no like, and mine, the issue is mine had like some little pockets and areas where they just didn't finish it. So whoever, did these, did a great job. You can see those little spots. Spot wilds, yeah. Yep. What I was complaining about on the uh, snap-ons, I'm gonna have to eat my words on that. I don't like that, yeah. There's gotta be a better way. I don't think Rousseau has any of that. Sonic certainly doesn't. That's what's so cool about Sonic, is that, you know, Sonic's fit and finish. Although these are American made, the Sonic, the, the MSS Plus stuff is made in, um, in Taiwan but it's made to like significant precision and the finish, the powder coating is the best you know, powder coating I think I've ever seen on anything. So these, you know, they're industrial. And so you just have to be willing to deal with some of the industrialness, like the way they do locks, the way they do door handles. It's like they've been doing that for 40 years and just stick to it. Whereas Sonic's come in new guys in, in LeBlanc and have engineered some new stuff. The thing that stinks about Sonic, you can't get them in cool green color or anything. You gotta get them in just black only. But the beauty is having options. We can do Lista, we can do Rousseau, we can do 
Sonic. We could do, you know, anything. Saber. Probably bringing in the Pro Slat stuff. Giving people options. Well, I'm just laying out, transferring my measurements. See so what it does. I drill a hole here, a hole saw. Then I marked it, I put the cabinet up, leveled it, put this penciled around the hole there. So now I know when I move it over here, because if I measure from the height out here, the floor might be different, slightly different as far as elevation or whatever. And I, had, and I wanted the cabinet leveled before I made the final cut. Because if, if you try to make the cut based on what you see here and where the cabinet is before you level it, then you get over here and level it, then it'll be off. So I'm just uh, transferring measurements now and then I'll cut the hole where it needs to be and then I'll slide it back in and install the outlet. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be right on the money. Like we're gonna need to go investigate. Yeah, I, I'm aware. Shall we? Shall we go investigate the central situation? Maybe, maybe we'll get the outlet in, and then we'll play our gratification. No, let's not. Let's <laughs> I'm for instant gratification, Michael. And because, uh, yeah, that's the way we are. Let's go look. Mike, it's a larger box. Shall we peek? What, what are you? What are you? What are you guessing? I'm telling you, you guys are like the uh, connoisseurs of. Oh, we got a, we got our future show here. Oh, oh, we got some more of those cookies, Matt. Mm. And there's two cinnamon rolls. Mm. Oh, that smells good. Just take it in, Michael. Wow. Yeah. How are we gonna do this here? I was not get any. What? It's really why, good. Why, in why, 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 why? You got extra yesterday. Extra. You went yesterday. <laughs> Oh yeah. On your, <laughs> on your side trip to Pismo Beach and to smell the wildflowers. You know, I just need some breakfast. Don't what are we looking at? Are we, <laughs> what, sure. I'm waiting for you to choose what you want. I want one of these. Okay. Yeah, you, you want a cinnamon roll. And what do you want, Michael? I'm gonna delay my gratification. No, you can get a cinnamon roll. I, I'll wait. No, it's fine. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till when? You want to go there later? Yeah, we're gonna. Well, not today. You want a part of the vlog part of things? Yeah, we have to make this part of the story. Mm. What do you think's in that? Are we going to need rock, paper, scissor for this stuff? Do we have any butter left? Yeah, butter's the key. You know, Mike, I think I'm going to do what you do, and I'm going to, I'll let... You're going to delay your grand I think grand Matt's going to want a second after he has the first. Might. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm one of those. I'm only eating one of these. I'm arguing Here that all the birthday cake, all the crap you guys have been eating all these years, and I've skipped it, this is the one time I'm taking it. I'm what taking birthday it. cake are you talking about? Pies and cakes and candies. I don't, I don't eat pies and cakes. I, don't, I changed my mind. We can't have Fred's level hospitality. Our next project, again, if you didn't watch episode two, we're taking applications for the next project that you want us to come do. We have our prerequisites. We're taking hospitality off the list because this is not good for me. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna need you to leave us on our own. Left to my own devices, I'll be fine, but yeah, this is, this is pretty quality. Keep going. We're putting a couple of one of these 516 bolts. One up top, one on the bottom, just to pull everything together. We're not attaching to the wall, it's not necessary. We're just attaching them all together, okay. making sure they're nice and level. Piece of cake. It's always important to have a level cabinet. If this isn't level and your door either swing this way or swing that way, it's really annoying. So this side's done, level. They're bolted together. We've got our, um, I'm gonna transfer the stuff from Fed's cabinet there to this one. Outlet's inside, but we haven't attached it to the inside of the cabinet yet, but it's, it's through. That's where we have to cut the countertop too. Yeah. Well, we, if we get this one in, this one done, are there any other cabinets going inside here besides that closet and that closet? Not in here, but. No. Oh, we got the uppers. Yeah. Yeah. We got uppers and then we got the 
wash bay. Mm -hmm. No, this will fit. 68 and 5 eighths. Put his phone in your pocket. He'll be looking all over for it. I've done it before. It's hilarious. You go like this. Like this. Like this. Some rolls, <laughs> really good, Michael. We're, you and I are going in the morning. First thing, we'll get up and we'll go get a cup of coffee and go grab one of the ones with pecans and stuff on it. <laughs> we'll go. Matt doesn't want any more, so he just had his one and done. I think he he should really, honestly. I'm being truthful, without trying to have him full completely off the wagon. He needs the one with caramel and, some, and yeah, pecans on top. It's unreal. It's the one we had today. It's twice as good as that the one. Twice as good. All right, Matt. So is it gonna fit? Yeah. <laughs> I can do the same thing back here as I do everything else. Great caulking. Mm -hmm. It'll look. It'll look good. Yeah, I'd say that's acceptable. To me. One of one, all time. Now the Swiss track's done over here. I'm pretty good. I'm gonna put the toe kicks in. You end up going around for a few weeks and finding like a tile here and there, pop in place. I'm gonna put these toe kicks on and then this will be set up, we, we have uppers going above this. That's what these guys are gonna do. Luckily, this whole wall is plywood, basically, OSB. And so we'll be able to, we don't have to try to search for studs and go right into the, into the backing. So first we cut for the wall, and then we realized, well, the cabinets need to sit on the floor and on the Swiss tracks, so then we cut for the Swiss tracks, or cut for the cabinets, I mean, and then the then I realized, well, the toe kicks don't fit, so now it's gonna look like this. So I had to pull it all out and cut it again. So we cut it all three times. <laughs> so think about it, you know, the cabinets, the cabinets we originally had sitting on the Swiss tracks, then because of the height of the outlets, we needed to put the cabinets on the, on the bare ground, and then I just cut up to go, like, tuck up under the cabinets. Uh, but then the toe kicks don't fit. And so now the toe, ki the toe kicks are on this one and they're not on that one. So I haven't done that side yet. So see the difference? You can see underneath the cabinet, much, much cleaner. So this is pretty typical. You would typically put your cabinets in and then cut your Swiss tracks around it. It's the cleanest when you, I like putting the, counter, the cabinets right on top of the Swiss tracks, um, but whatever, this works. Just took another step. Best practice is you need two levels. You need to go back, forth, you know, between both axes, axi. And there's a lot of things to consider, you know, distance from the wall. If the wall is not plumb, you got to play with the, uh, how far out the cabinet is. Like, for instance, if the wall is tipping this way, but the cabinet is to tip back, you, have, you might have to pull the cabinet out a bit so it's got more gap down there in order to level it to get it to get the back to tip back so fortunately these walls are reasonably plumb so we're not too far out and the next thing is obviously you want the faces flush you want the tops flush so it's just a lot of playing around back and forth and putting that levels on, on both the front the back side to side every which way you can imagine we got our outlets in over there two of them yeah one there, one there. All 
I knock that out real quick when you guys were editing? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. I knocked it out when Mike was editing real quick. He didn't. He didn't get that on camera. It was easy. I mean, it's not even worth your time. Yeah. No. I did the. I just knocked that out. <laughs> knocked what part out? Nothing. The outlets. Yeah. yeah. You, you did a really good job. Yeah. Well, he wasn't. You know, he was busy editing, and I just. Cause yeah. I'll just get this. I know that people would want to see it, but I just got done real quickly. Right. 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 You've yeah. learned from your. You know, the house at Woodgate. You cut it on the correct side, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you figured that. Now you've got it dialed. Measure eight times. It's within a sixteenth now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the other one was within uh, three feet. It was inside the cabinet. Just, well, it was just the wrong inside. On the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. That's perfection. Oh, man, dude. I'm, I'm going to go change. I'm telling you. It, I, I keep getting a whiff of it. It's horrible. I hate to throw these $120 freaking pants away. Oh, he's got the, the fish oil. Yeah, fish oil it's pants. horrible. So now you got uh, mice pee covered in fish oil. Yeah, yeah. It's With a side of lavender. Yeah, side of lavender. PFL. Mm-hmm. Piss fish. <laughs> it's horrible. Lavender. It's just horrible. PFL it's like I told thing. Mike, I, got, I took them out of the closet. I, oh, they smell fine. The second I put them on, they warm up. It, come it, into a uh, come into a store near you. PFL scent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know we could patent that scent. Piss, fish, lavender. That's what the, that's what the inside of the cabin smells like right now with Mike in there. Yeah. Not not my signature. Mike's signature. Yeah, I'm gonna go edit Mike. Yeah, I'm gonna go change my pants. I'm gonna tell you right now. I can't. I can't even deal with it. It's horrible. It's horrible. I smell like a fisherman. This is when I start looking around, trying to find something that works. According to this, it'd be 33.3333 tiles. All right, so do 33, and then we'll find some stuff that's stick in the middle. Yep, time to do some uppers. So now we have an upper, upper conundrum. I say we just make a little platform out of Swiss tracks or something. He says, let's drill a hole in the wall and put some wood on it. Patch it, like I'm already doing that anyway. So. Right, let's hear it for couple number one. <laughs> or couple number two. Yeah. What do you think out there? Comment down below. Couple number one, couple mm. number two. Mm, stack. How are we going to set these upper caps? Stay tuned know. to find out. Mm -hmm. I, use, I use muscle and ingenuity versus how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, well. <laughs> Uh, You're supposed to do cabinets before all your So I grab a two by four, mount it, screw it to the wall with two screws, 20 inches below, set it up there. All you got to do is hold it, and that's it. And then I do all my screw. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Give you us, just, really you just start jamming stuff in there. Right, you, got, you guys go ahead and stack your tiles and call me when you're ready, and I'll uh, screw it to the wall. <laughs> Yeah, you get those soggy, wet Swiss Trex boxes in here, and then we'll do that. Now I got a whole pallet of them over there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if I needed a wet one, I'd get one, because maybe I only needed, like, half a box. I needed mm -hmm. a squish so a little bit. So it would shrink? It would shrink a bit? Yeah, I got full adjustability. Mm -hmm. Infinite adjustability. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're sitting here talking about it. Let's prove your point. Go grab some Twister tracks. Let's do it. Nice. You just want to admit my method is going to be easy. I don't know. True. I don't really. Uh... Kyle's just moving stuff around <laughs> in yeah. circles. He's right. He's going to go back to Pismo and look at some more stuff and then maybe take a ride. There's a, 
There's a really uh, botanical garden over here he was talking uh, about to look at. First of all, which cabinet is going there? They're not 20. They're 19 and 19 and three quarters. Sounds like uh, sounds 20. like maybe uh, 23 and seven 17 sixteenths Swiss tracks. 17 sixteenths. I like that. What? <laughs> That's a new measurement. That, instead of one and a sixteenth, it's seventeen sixteenths. Yeah, seventeen babies. Seventeen babies, huh? Or, or put your clean on the wall, whatever, I don't care. I know you don't. You're gonna go enjoy some snacks off I'm gonna camera. Be in and out, uh, it takes me 35 seconds to eat. And, uh, yeah, I'll go, okay. I don't have to get all, I don't have to go take a shower. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Like you. I did. I changed my pants, Michael. Oh yeah. I, those are gonna. I hate to say, you got pre-lunch pants and post-lunch pants. Those are gonna go pants. in the trash. PFL pants. Man, they're bad. I'm gonna just use a couple of screws. Since where I'm gonna be doing touch-up paint anyway, as you can see, I fixed the drywall over there where the seam was showing. I fixed some drywall in there. So what I'm gonna do is screw this to the wall so that the top of this board is right at the dimension of 19 and three quarters, which is what those cabinets are. Then all you have to do is set the cabinet up there. One person has to hold it like this while the other person screws it in. And being as this is gonna be level, automatically the cabinets will be right at level. So it makes it much easier. Measure down from here, 19 three quarters, then drew a level line across. So how we check it, we just do this here. From here to that line, we're at 21 and a half. So if we come over here, 21 and a half, see? So now we know that's for sure good. Thanks, Fred. Fred's a pretty good assistant. He's Fred, number, number one assistant currently. Yeah, he's taking the number one role away from Maddie. Hey, Fred, I, I need some more assisting. Okay. Why don't you hold me on that pencil line? And I'll, uh, I think we're, our board might be just a little warped. Come on up. Oh, yeah, it's warped. Let's flip it this way. I can try that. Uh, no, not that I can think of. It's level. Okay. Check. Only out for our outlets here. I took those dimensions that I measured off of the outlet, the box. So we're. Uh, 22 and 7 eighths to here to 25, then we're three and a quarter to seven. So we're gonna lay it on its face and I'm gonna use the grinder and uh, slitting wheel. Let me take the key out. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay. So I'll use a grinder and a slitting wheel like I did with the cabinets and we'll uh, cut, a, cut a square out or rectangle out. Oh, oh, oh man, that's a valuable pencil. That is, that is, I'm gonna keep it forever. Not after I just ate that cookie. You had, you had a cookie? Oh yeah, I had a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, done, as, as of right now, as of right now, Mark, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's Yeah. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm a mistake tonight and just gotta stop. No more. Can't stop till tomorrow for Mike and I, cause no, no, we're gonna stop. go cinnamon roll. Let's say yeah. That. I'm done. I'm telling you, I gotta be done. Or else I'll be done after that cinnamon roll. And then I might bring a couple home too, but you know, those <laughs> won't be for me. Those will be for Maureen. Yeah, we got nothing to do today, Mike. Nothing to do this weekend. We could have gone to Disney. Okay, what's your ears? favorite line to Trevor is watch and learn <laughs> whenever you're helping me. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to give up this title of best assistant in the world for sure. 
Gladly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the best watcher, best, best observer in the world. And then eventually the best shower upper. You just show up at the end. Uh huh. Give it a hold. Yep. And salute. Yep. <laughs> nice work. Good job. Yeah. Great job. Shake hands. Mm hmm Give the old, you gotta do the, you gotta do the shake and you like grab the shoulder, you know? Yeah, you yeah the big one, the big appreciatory shake. Like, I really shake. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so those, those uppers are now installed. The outlets are in. I'll show you how that looks. Um, let's see, I'm just getting this one prepared. We're gonna, this is how I basically meant them like, you know, like that, I lay out from, so now I have my reference line. So I made, I took my straight edge up here, put our line that we're gonna come to with the upper here. And we'll lay out from there to cut this hole and then show you what these look like now. So, got an outlet in there and an outlet in there. So, I've already patched my uh, drywall, do one more little skim coat over those screw holes. And then uh, we'll get some, we have plenty of touch up paint. We got the touch up over there and a few other areas anyway. So, and these screws, these screws really worked out well for these cabinets. This one with Swiss tracks. And this one with you just hold it up. Okay. It's not that heavy. We just have these two uppers to do, and then this room is finished, I believe. And everything else is going in the wash bed. So those, we're gonna try, we're gonna put uppers in the middle between the doors. No, we're not gonna do it. How come? Because they only said it's one. Oh. So then, yeah, you're done. One. So we just have these two to do in here. Just one and done. One times two and done. This is just one. Yeah, it's just one large one. <laughs> Just we can we, could, we could bolt them together on the ground and then uh, put them. Yeah, in. I'll hold it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. shaky arm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. it was a really good move to do the uh, do the base. Cause now look how clean that looks. Yeah, I know. I think so too. Yep. Yep. My lift controller's so a little wonky there, Kyle. I don't know what the heck's going on there. This one? It's because there's a hump on the concrete where they finished oh. around the pipes. So I think what we're going to have to do, as a matter of fact, get me some, get me some, um, uh, maybe, but we were kind of wanting to center it in, so the gap on both sides. Get me some composite shims. You know what would be really cool in here? If we did, like, um, the exterior, like that exterior brick, what if that was like the backsplash? Oh uh, yeah, like like used brick. Well, well what, the you know like the outside of the house there, mm -hmm. outside of the building. Mm -hmm. What if they did just limited, but say from here down this wall and that? Yeah, that'd look good. I think that'd be pretty sweet. It might be a little too modern for this that though in here. 
good. I put the lifts down so we could see. I just started looking at them. Yeah, this is cool. I like Kyle's little design cue there. I wasn't sure about that, where he brought it to where the, uh, where the lift controller is. We need to squeeze down there. We go. It's always a milestone. It means you're means you're getting close, closer. Gotta do some debadging. I knew Fred was a good dude, and he's like, "How many badges are we gonna keep?" I want to keep one. He said, "I might even just take them all off." I said, "Yeah, that's it." Riveting yeah, footage. Sorry, sorry, Mike. It's seven o'clock at night. I've been at this for twelve hours. We're, uh, we're out of out of commentary. <laughs> you take another drawer out there, Michael. Yeah, I can't fit. My chest won't go through there. Too many, too many push-ups. Too much benching. Yeah. Big weight. It's big my big weight. heart. Big weight. Enlarged heart? Are you dying? No, just uh, I just I have know. a big heart. It's a, you know, it's part of my personality. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> I did see some comments saying, you know, you should check out. There's a local cinnamon cinnabon there. That's like Portnoy going to Pizza Hut. Yep. Hey, Kyle. Uh, wedge anchors, they top out at uh, two and a quarter long for quarter inch. Three inch or three and three quarters and three eighths. Let me see if a three eighths will fit. Let me look. Mm, looks like a three eighths will. Hang on a second. Three and a quarter. And a three eighths uh, SDS plus bit. Yeah. I find it, I want to tell you, I find it mildly strange to have you staring at me right now while I'm talking to you on the phone. <laughs> Like, I think that would be know. better if you call your guy friends. <laughs> <be better>. yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah, this is this one's a good one probably for your wife and your daughter. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> all, right. all right, thanks. All right, I'll, I'll take that. No, all, right. Uh, all right, bye. <laughs> He's gonna look into it. Yeah, let me look into that. Let <laughs> me look into that. We haven't had to use that at all. No, this whole this whole trip isn't that great. Yeah. Fred's let us off the hook more than he asked us to do. So for those of you who don't know, I've been training Mike. I had to teach him to, uh, to uh, defer to me and say, you know what? I'll talk to Matt, I'll look into that. You know, because Mike is always like, yeah, I'll do it, sure, no problem. Yeah, okay, even if he doesn't want to do it. So I said, here's how you get out of that, Mike. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice this. I say, all right, Mike. Hey, Mike, can we, like, can we turn this cabinet 180? And you say. I'll look into it. Yeah, no, you gotta be more convincing than that. Yeah, I'll look into that. It's, uh, so, you know, that's a good idea, man. I, let me look into that. I'll get back to you. What's up, Kyle? <laughs> we never talked about how many? Uh, uh, 12. Yeah, if they have a box of 15, sure. Yep. Okay, I'll just do it like this. This is better. I've got you, co I got, I fixed the deal with your picture. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> He'll love that. I'll look into that. Yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah, so that's the new, my new tagline. I think that's a wrap for night. What do you think? Is this a good night, good day, good wrap? Eight o'clock PM, that's a good 12 hour day or so, 13 hour day, but we got a lot done. That's a good, uh, good progress. I'm really digging the green, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Green, it's cool. Can't steal it now, but it makes me think, you know, maybe I should do like paint the sample of Mons Blue or something in the future. Idea. I think yeah. we can pull it off, right? Because we do we could do the piping and stuff too. We could paint it all. Yeah. Yep. Fred's uh putting a little pop of color in my life. Anyway, tomorrow we'll be uh doing finish finishing the cabinets. We have to do the wash bay. And then hopefully all of our remaining fittings come, HDMI cable, I can do all the die rack calibration. So we're gonna make some real good progress tomorrow. It, you know, in a perfect world, we'd have the bulk of the stuff done. Um, so that way we can come in and just shoot, you know, shoot the videos at the end. Uh, but we have quite a bit to do, the pressure washer, all that stuff. It's gonna be good. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.
coming back. Come back for some more. Test it out. Yep. I would prefer that you not lick me so much, though. That's what I would like. I would like I would like less licking and more just chilling. Yeah, that's better. That's good. That's a better way to be. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh sorry. It's time to go take a nap now. Mm -hmm.